I'm just messing around with it. Let's do it. Uh, I tricked you. Let's try it again. Dun, 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 dun. Very exciting. Very exciting. We'll give it 30 seconds for everyone to get in and get settled. I don't know. I see some people are here. Let's do it. 30 seconds on the clock. That started. I wasn't even paying my own attention. Hello. I was looking at all my friends in the comments. Hi, everybody. Hi, Llama. Hi, Tony Toots. Hi, Eric Vincent. Hi, Minneapolis Mike. Hi, me saying hello to everyone on the Judge John Hodgman Facebook group, the John Hodgman Twitch stream, the John Hodgman YouTube channel, and the brand new judge john hodgman youtube channel judge john hodgman pod if you have not already subscribed and smashed and everything else to that new channel where we are broadcasting the actual uh, the actual episodes we're uh, taking video and uh, leaving names over there on the youtube and i just learned how to connect it to this this me to live stream to that youtube channel and I just learned how to connect to my personal John Hodgman Instagram account. Uh, there's all kinds of new technology uh, happening here in the technological world since we last streamed together. Why am I here? Well, if you notice the, stream, uh, the, the ticker tape banner below, it is the Max Fun Drive. And I've been off you know, doing the Judge John Hodgman podcast and working on other things. I haven't been streaming lately, but I love to stream. I, everyone knows about that. They say Hodgman. I'm talking about that stream lover loves to stream, especially during the Max Fun Drive. And among all the, the projects that you, you may know, uh, I co-host a wonderful podcast. I dare say it's wonderful because we have a wonderful team working on it, including my co-creator and co-host Jesse Thorne. Our producer, Jennifer Marmer, our, our former social media director, Marie Barty Salinas, our new social media director, Natty Lopez, plus our editor, AJ McKeon, and our new video editor, Richard Spear, Daniel Spear. Sorry, I apologize, Daniel. This is a test. This is only a test. I just learned how to connect all these new distribution channels to this stream yard. And as we cruise into day two of the rest of your Max Fun Drive 2024, I thought I'd just hop on and say hi and make sure everything is working. If things are not working, this is the time to let me know. And I'm not talking about things not working in your life or in the world. Nothing is working. But if things are working uh, more or less, you can hear me okay. Can you hear me in one channel or another channel? Um, is it coming through okay? I am able to see comments from YouTube, um, from Twitch. Uh, I've not seen any comments so far from Facebook. I'm not seeing comments from Instagram at this point. Um, I'm not sure if that's a, uh, something I can do when I'm streaming from StreamYard to all these different places. You can, give me, you can give me some feedback in the comments because I'd like to get the settings locked down. Uh, so that I can pop up and stream various times throughout this wonderful Max Fun Drive. And uh, uh, what is Max Fun Drive? Very, very swiftly. Oh, look at Cole Hawks. All right. See, Cole Hawks says, Woo, Judge John, I'll become a member Friday. Judge uh, Cole Hawks understands that this is the two weeks per year, only two weeks per year where we 
from the Judge John Hodgman podcast and the entire Maximum Fun Network come to you and say, hey, if you enjoy the if you enjoy the creator owned podcasts that are put out by the employee owned network known as Maximum Fun, may we remind you that the vast majority of our financial support comes from you. And we ask for that support during the Max Fund Drive by going to MaximumFund.org slash join. And when you join, you need different levels. I mean, it starts at just five bucks a month. A month. That's like about a buck a show, a little bit more than a buck a show for Judge John Hodgman. But when you join, not only do you uh, uh, get some free swag at different levels, not only do you get this bonus content, but you also get the satisfaction of knowing that you are directly supporting a thing you love in the way that we are asking you to do it. So there you go. That's what that is. Thank you very much, Cole Hawks, for making that pledge to pledge. If you have any other questions, let me know. Emily says, I'm dying to know, were you the voice of Zam Reich on Game Changer? This is very funny because I saw this, I saw this percolating on social. I am a fan of Game Changer on the Dropout channel on YouTube. And uh, I think it's terrific. I think everything they're doing over there is great. And uh, uh, I love that particular show. And apparently there was, I missed this episode, but it's a game show, which I love. And apparently there was a automated voice of a alternate version of Sam Reich, the host and creator of the show called Zam. And a lot of people thought that that was me. And it, as far as I know, it wasn't unless they did something to imitate me. That was not me. It wasn't me, as Shaggy would say, it wasn't me. However, I would love to say, as Taylor's version would say, it is the problem, it's me. So get at me, uh, Dropout TV. I'd love to be on your programming sometime, I love it. Uh, uh, so it says here, Fluffy Pink Plant says, I'm getting Fs, but don't know if that's me or you. I don't know what that means. Yes, Eric Vincent is correct. That's a gavel behind me, of course. It is not a torturous rolling ball massage thingy, although I know exactly what you're talking about. This is my big gavel. I've had it for years. Matt Howey brought it. Matt Howey of Metafilter. Metafilter's own Matt Howey gave it, presented it to me. I believe at the very first Max Fun Con, or maybe the second, more than a decade ago anyway. And it's been a very proud part of my chambers here. You are seeing here behind me, the Judge John Hodgman Chambers. Um, but I, it, it never occurred to me to, uh, to, to bring it on the road until this past fall. And I carried it with me. And I mean, why wouldn't you have a giant gavel in a theatrical setting? That's what it's for. So now I use it all the time and it, it makes a big noise. Ready for it? Here we go. I don't know if you can hear that, but like the springs in this spring loaded arm just go. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's fantastic. Here we go. One more time. I hope you find that satisf satisfying, Eric Vincent. Oh, here every, everything's everyone's talking to each other. Yeah, Llama, I was wondering if maybe I got AI'd. I was wondering about it. Could be. Could be. Llama, of course, over, our friend over there in the UK is a big fan of the Bracknell Bees Hockey Club. Uh, some questions are arising about what we might expect during this Max Fun Drive. Uh, will I be live streaming Sim City again? Oh, you betcha. You betcha I will. Uh, for those who don't know, I used to do a thing called, um, what is it? The joy, the joy of zoning. Yeah, that's what it was called. Uh, or the magic of, no, the magic, the joy of painting was the Bob Ross show. So I did the joy of zoning where I would build cities in 20, in 2013's version of Sim City, and just murmur under it. I truly thought that was going to be my, my next job in this life. Maybe it still will be. But yeah, I'll give that another th I'll give that another whirl. It's been a, more than a year since I've done it, so why not? Is the gavel like Jud Thor's hammer? Only the judgiest judges can lift it. No, anyone can lift it. Anyone can lift my gavel, if you know what I mean. Love the custom Moxie sign. Have I ever been to the Moxie Festival in Lisbon Falls, Maine? Yeah, isn't that nice? The, the Moxie people sent that to me a long time ago. Yet they won't they won't sponsor the podcast. Nor will Uts. We got close with Uts one day. Uh, we'll see what happens with that. I've not been to the Moxie Festival in Lisbon Falls. Uh yep, up the bees. Oh, let's see where we are at. Hello. Sorry for Oh, okay. This is good. This is a good message for me to re to reamplify. 
I ought to offer promotion to my channel viewers. Follow. Okay, goodbye. How do you do that? How do you do that? Llama is itching to moderate here. Llama, let's make that happen, all right? Hey, I'm going to put a I'm going to put a thing up. We're not going to do I will do get your pets during the Max Fun Drive, of course. Uh, but I am uh, but I'm not going to do that today. I'm, this was just a this is a test. This is only a test. This is just a pop-up. Just a little surprise stream for you folks. And uh, let me just go over here to brand. Nope, banners is what I want to do. Hey, uh, Llama, I'm going to drop a, a URL into the banner. And anyone can type this URL in if you'd like to request to join this stream and talk to me for a bit. I guess I'll be doing it for a while. I mean, it's like this is the sort of thing I will literally put it off not only for hours, but for days. And then, of course, the minute I start doing it, I don't ever, ever want to stop looking at my dumb face as it talks on the internet. Look at this face that I can make now. Anyway. Uh, Llama, if you're up for it, uh, you should type in bit.ly slash maxjoin319. And that should put you into the waiting room. And then we can talk about what's going on in your life. Or anyone can. I'll just leave that up there for a minute. Let's see what's happening in the comments in the meantime. Where did the Moxie sign come from? Asked and answered, weird dad. Your kid's school was funded by Moxie founder money. Ooh. Well, I hope it was, was it in Maine? Was it a private school? Is it called Moxie Academy? Uh, let me know. I want details. Uh, let's see here. This is taking me by surprise. I'm not camera. Okay, that's fine. Don't worry about it. We'll have plenty of times to chat, Llama, but you know how to reach me. Uh, I will add you as a moderator because I think that that would be a valuable tool. Not tool, but service that you could provide. Thank you. A Thompson School in Arlington, Mass, you say? Hmm. I'm going to look this up. The Thompson School. You're my clicky keyboard. I love this thing so much. Arlington... Lington, Mass. Thompson Elementary School. Doesn't have a Wikipedia page. What if I add Moxie to the search term? Uh, yeah, okay. It's the official soft drink of Maine, but Moxie has an Arlington connection. Moxie's originator, Dr. August, Augustin Thompson, came from Union, Maine and set up his medical practice in Lowell, Maine. Where is the Arlington part? Arlington, 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 Arlington. He was a profoundly civic-minded towards Arlington, where he lived for over 45 years. And to whose institutions he bequeathed 45% of his fortune. His generosity resulted in the Thompson Wing at Sims Hospital. Still, and the Thompson Scholarship still awarded annually at Arlington High School. How about that? That's a, you know, I'm going to say something, which... I don't, I don't like to drop a lot of, I don't like to drop a lot of swear words. So I'm just going to say that's a real F you to Maine. The Moxie is sponsoring schools in Massachusetts. Wow. Wow. Uh, I noticed Jonathan is here. Hi, Jonathan. How are you? How are you? I'm okay. Thank you. you. I just saw you in the waiting room, just wandering around your apartment. And I thought Jonathan needs a rest. Like, like stop, stop walking in circles. Started. I didn't quite hear you there, Jonathan. Say it again. I forgot. I forgot that I was being uh, recorded. To be honest. Oh well, sorry. You asked to join. This is happening. No, you're right. You're right. Uh, let me ask you a few questions. This is a test. This is only a test. So I, I'm, I, I crave your feedback. Uh, what kind of device are you using right now? Android. An Android phone or tablet? Phone. Yeah. Okay. So were the instructions that I offered to use Chrome on an Android tablet or phone, whatever it is, did that work? Obviously yeah, it did. Yeah, it worked immediately. No yeah. problem. All right, good. Next question. Uh, what platform are you watching this on? Um, I'm from the StreamYard link. Oh, from the StreamYard link directly? Yeah. Oh, how did you discover this uh, stream? No, I uh, initially 
watched it on Twitch. Ah. And then when I joined the link, it was playing twice, once on Twitch and once on the stream yard. So I closed Twitch. Oh. Was that a technical difficulty, would you say? Um, was that a Twitch glitch? No, no, I think it's I think it's working okay. fine. I mean, yeah. Okay, good. Thank you for that feedback. Your no your opinion is important to us, and we count on your surveys to make sure that we're improving uh, improving quality here. Uh, are you uh, by any chance? I'll put you on the spot because you asked to be here. Are you a Maximum Fund member? Uh, to be honest, I'm not, but I I'm a John uh, fan. I love it. So, Jonathan, you know that I'm going to ask you right now. If you're a John Hodgman fan, go to MaximumFun.org slash join today and consider becoming a supporter of the Judge John Hodgman podcast. Is that fair? I, I mean, that's all I'm doing. I'm just asking a thing. Just asking. That's totally fair. I can't force you to do anything. Where are you in the world? Uh, abroad. <laughs> Where? Oh, you don't want to say? Yeah, I don't want to say. A mysterious Sorry. location. Yeah. Do you... You know they're triangulating your location at this very moment. I'm sure yeah, that they the, are. Uh, the deep state knows where I am. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Is everything okay in your corner of the world? Okay, okay plus, okay minus? Oh, all good. All right. And you don't have a pet with you, do you, by any chance? No pet. Uh, That's no. good. You picked it on a, no, on, a, on a no pet day. Yeah. Well done. I do notice that Ed has a pet. Ed's trying to make this into Get Your Pets. Look at Ed over here. Ed, can't, can't hear you, Ed, but I like that dog. I'll unmute you. There we go. Ed. Now I'm unmuted. There we go. I have Mango. Ed, say hi to Jonathan. Jonathan, say hi to Mango and Ed. Hey, Mango Head. Hello. Uh, Mango is what kind of dog? Mango is an English bulldog. Ed, I want to see if I can share a photo with you. Okay. So... Uh, Jonathan, it was great talking to you. Was there anything you wanted to ask? or? I just wanted to tell you how much I enjoyed your book, Vacation Land. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate that. And you and and I and I do appreciate your fandom of non-Judge John Hodgman things as well. But thank you for at least considering going to MaximumFun.org slash join. And uh, I hope everything goes well out there in your corner of the globe. Thank you. See you later. Ed, the globe has no quarters. Why did I even say that? And that I, I don't. I don't even know. Where are you? Are you? Are you willing to tell me? I live in Kansas. Really? Where in Kansas? I live in Lawrence. That's a college, college town. Yeah, I've never been there. I gotta go. I gotta get out there. Yeah, uh, it's it's a it's a nice place. We we would uh, we would love to have you here. Mm -hmm. You know, I I I feel like they. There, there aren't uh, a lot of places. I mean, there are probably. I bet, I bet you could, uh, you could do a, do a do a show in in Lawrence. They have. Do you think so? Uh, yeah, they have. They 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 brought uh, last year uh, for there's a uh, festival that puts on a lot of movies and comedians. Last year they brought Cameron Esposito, and the year before that it was Maria Bamford. Oh well, I mean, so they, they have. Are, they they those get are the best. Yeah, they get some some good comedians to come come to the to the festival, but you know, there's not a, a lot of uh, comedy otherwise. Sometimes Corey, Courier T says, "I'm from Kansas City. Come here too." Sure. Which I guess we did have the, I... the Greatest Generation came one time. Oh, to Lawrence. Yes. Yeah. Well, well the Greatest Generation, of course, being. Another uh, Max Fun podcast. A sibling podcast on the on the employee owned Maximum Fun I'm Network. Wearing, I'm wearing my Max Fun Con T shirt from wow. 2018. Thank you. 2018. Was I at that one? I feel like I may have missed that one. I don't think you were. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Yeah. And then I missed the very last one to boot. That was that was a bummer because I used to be the that highlight. Is a shame. I mean, it was always the highlight of a highlight of my year. And it wasn't as though it went downhill or anything. I just couldn't go. So. <laughs> I was, uh, you know, living in Kansas, unable to make it you for were... almost all of them. But then you, but then you showed but up. For one, I'm going to try to share an image with you. Okay. So stand Let's by for a second. Let's see if this works. 
Google Slides. No, I don't want to do a slideshow. I want to share screen. I uh, want to do a window. I want to do, do I want to do this window? I got to make sure it's not going to reveal anything bad. I'll, I'll keep your secrets. Well, I know. I'm just thinking about everybody else. Well, let's see. Re hang on. I just need to rename something. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I think this is going to be, oops, but that's not what I wanted to show you. All right, stand by, everybody. Uh, this is all a test. This is only a test. There we go. Let's see now. If I do that like that, maybe you won't see anything. That's what I wanted to do. What, what happened to it? Entire screen. Nope. Nope. Oh, brother. Try it this way. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for everybody putting, putting up with this. Yeah, all right. The browser can't access my screen. Browser can't access my screen. Hmm. Let me try one more thing, if you don't mind. Uh, tell me more. T tell everybody about uh, uh, Lawrence, Kansas. How long have you lived there? And wh <laughs> where? what's your favorite slice of pizza from Lawrence, Kansas? Oh, okay. I have lived here for almost 20 years. Good slice of pizza from from Lawrence, Kansas. Um, Is there one? Like, What's Kansas pizza yeah. like even? I mean, you know, it's it. I don't think that there's anything special about any of them other than they're all pizza. Which is usually pretty good. Uh, the one uh, I think we the. Uh, all right. We oh, did, our, we did a good job killing the time. OK, well, but let me ask you this. Can you see this? Yes. Is this an English bulldog? That is probably an English bulldog. There may hey, be a little mixed a... in there. Oh, maybe, yeah. maybe an American bulldog or, or something else. But yeah. Here's another view. Does that help? I mean, I'd say the same thing. I'd say that's probably an English bulldog. That's a boy English bulldog. Though, Here's, my they usually have Here's, like my bigger... Here's my question. Here's my Go question. Go ahead. What is this dog doing? Why is this dog doing this? You can see that half its body is up on the pavement half the body is down in the yeah, staircase you know sometimes bulldogs do weird stuff like that you know they because they have they have my my dog is about eight years old and she has a lot of hip problems mm -hmm. well, you know sometimes they sit weird i don't How know if that dog stayed in that position oh for a there. long time that's what i'm getting uh, like that's the thing that the photo can't caption this dog was happily sitting outside this coffee shop in brooklyn new york if that helps yeah for out at least an hour just hanging out just like this. Just like this, that. Yeah. Wow. And seemed as happy as could be. Okay. You know, and, some sometimes these 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 bulldogs have uh weird skeletal problems. Mm-hmm. You know. You think they, this is maybe they're a little self abominations. Um I, I so maybe that's comfortable for, for this guy. I want, but here's the thing. How do you think this even happened? Like, do you, you know, think... I, I, I bet, I bet he, you know, sat, sat there and then kind of, you know, leaned forward like he was going to like splute out or something and just kind of kept going. Do you think it happened by accident? And I, I guess we're, and then he was like, Hey, this is okay. Yeah. 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 I wonder, I, the other thing that makes me fascinated is wondering whether this dog could ever, ever get away with it again. Could ever accomplish this again right if he's like hey i remember I to. yeah i, I remember know. this this fun way of sitting i wonder how that could ever happen i don't know now the other so my dog yeah never goes downstairs he um yeah let's the, see him because i can barely see him bring him she's, she's she. over here. oh i'm sorry well i said he too oh yeah Who's, and tell me her tell me her name again. Her name is Mango. Mango. <laughs> and how old is Mango? Mango's about eight. I'm getting a technical note here. Guest is a little louder than me. I don't know what to say. Llama, was that true about Jonathan in the undisclosed location as well? Let me know. Mango's about eight. Mango's terrific. Yes. And what are Mango's weird habits? So Mango was a 
a, a breeder for a long time and mm-hmm. has been living with with us for the last uh, couple of years you know, in her retirement. Yeah. Um, so, you know, she, she moves around. Okay. But she mostly just wants to lay down. Mm -hmm. Uh, she doesn't understand things like toys or, uh, you know, other dogs she's okay with sometimes, but sometimes she, she doesn't like them being in her business. And, uh, mm-hmm. you know, she doesn't, she doesn't play with any other dogs. She doesn't play with any people. She doesn't do toys. Mm-hmm. She just, she likes treats mm-hmm. and she likes, uh, naps. So, you know what? You know, Mango and I have a lot in common. This is, this is a life. I like treats. I like naps and I don't have a lot of toys. I got one, got my old two XL fake robot back there. Other than that, not a lot of toys. Yeah. Not a lot of toys. Pretty good. Uh, well, nice talking to you, Ed. Thank you for chiming in there from Lawrence, Kansas. We would love to come. Of course. Mango, I'll see you later. We'll do a full Get Your Pet, certainly. If not once, maybe twice during these two weeks of the Max Fun Drive, which is happening right now. That's why I'm why I'm talking to you. I think this has been a successful test. Does anyone have any questions before I wrap it up? Because I got some other Max Fun Drive stuff to take care of this afternoon. Um, and if no, I just want to thank everybody. For um, and I'm going to kick you from the uh, studio. Doesn't mean anything. Just making it a little easier for me to pay attention to all the different panels and doodads and bling bling blings and everything else. Uh, this seemed like a pretty successful test. I'm going to check and make sure that it went out over Instagram. Uh, I did not get to see any Instagram comments, so if you're on Instagram and you're watching, uh, I care for you too. And I apologize if you couldn't uh, get your comments through. Uh, if you are, <clears throat> pardon me, uh, if you were watching on, you know, that platform that I used to use a lot that I don't use anymore because of the reasons. Uh, I've never been able to see your comments and uh, they probably are just uh, Bitcoin come-ons now. Um, and uh, in terms of, Ballard wants to know, Ray, how do we hear about the next one? Well, I mean, the best way to hear about the next live stream, right, would probably be to go over to YouTube. You're on Facebook, so I don't know what, how you can turn on those notifications. But if you have a YouTube account and you go over to the Judge John Hodgman pod, that is the Judge John Hodgman stream, and hit subscribe and share if you want and, and hit the notifications, then you will know. Uh, we don't have a set schedule for these things, so keep an eye on Instagram. Keep an eye on all of your social medias. Again, if you're if if you're wa- wherever you're watching this, this is also going out over the Judge John Hodgman page on Facebook, uh, the Judge John Hodgman YouTube, my personal uh, YouTube channel, which is areas of my expertise. Pretty old, I am, and the channel is uh, my Twitch stream as well as X. And Instagram Live, if it worked today, it all seems to have worked okay. I'll just leave you with this before I hang up for the day. Thank you for being here. Thank you for uh, checking in. Um, Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Thank you for commenting. And um, thank you for being a member of Maximum Fun, if you are one. Maximum Fun is a employee-owned podcast network of podcasts that are 100% creator-owned and almost 100% audience supported. That is to me, that is to say, the bulk of our financial, our balance sheet comes from the listeners and the supporters and the maximum fund members. Membership begins at $5 a month. If you listen to Judge John Hodgman or any Max Fund podcast, well, if you listen to Judge John Hodgman, you, that five bucks a month, that's a little bit more than a dollar a show, which is reasonable, I think. If you are listening to multiple Maximum Fun podcasts, that price goes down, goes right down. Clapping doesn't mean down. I don't know why I'm doing that, but you know what I mean. If you listen to five, if you listen to five Max, I'm not going to do the math. You do the math. You understand. If you listen to us and Jordan Jesse go, if you listen to us and Bullseye, if you listen to us and The Greatest Generation or The Flophouse or The McElroys or any of the incredible new uh, Valley Heat 
uh, all these new podcasts that have just joined Maximum Fun because let's face it, the other podcast networks, they have a different model. And consequently, mm, they're not doing so good. But because we are an audience supported podcast network, we have been able to, thanks to you, weather several storms in the uh, in the podcast industry and in the global calamity environment because we rely on people supporting the thing they love in the way they are asked to support it. And that means going to MaximumFun.org slash join. That's all I'm going to say except for one more thing, MaximumFun.org slash join. Uh, there will be all kinds of pop-up stream events, some of them uh, more interactive than this, some of them more theatrical than this. Some of them involving SimCity, some of them involving pets. So wherever you are watching this, set it so that you can uh, you get notifications. Because I don't know what I don't know. I don't ever know when I'm going to come on and do this. Uh, all right, thank you very much, and I uh, hope that you all uh, take good care. I hope you're all doing as okay as possible. And this ends the test. It was only a test. Can't wait to see you again. MaximumFun.org/slash/join. Bye bye. Bye.